So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral from 3 to 5, function 7 minus 2t plus 3t squared uh, dt. So I'm going to first just rewrite our function. So 3 to 5, um, uh, 7t minus 3t squared dt. So in order to find a definite integral like this, or to evaluate this integral, what we want to do is find the antiderivative of our function first, so this thing on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 7 minus 2t plus 3t squared. So the antiderivative of a constant is just going to be the constant times the variable, so it's just going to become 7t. And then we're going to, now let's find it of minus 2t. So the antiderivative of minus 2t is going to become, we just add 1 to our exponent, so we have t squared. Then we divide by that, and then since it has a constant out front, we multiply by minus 2. So this will become minus 2 over 2t two squared, which just becomes minus t squared. So let me erase this, and then so it's going to become minus t squared. And then we have 3 times t squared. The antiderivative of t squared is going to become t cubed over 3, because we add 1 to the exponent, divide by that. But then we're multiplying it by 3. So it's going to become 3 over 3 is t cubed. It just becomes t cubed. So let me erase it and then I'll rewrite it. So this is going to be the antiderivative. So we got uh, 7t minus t squared plus t cubed. So what I'm going to do is just rewrite it like this. So 7t minus t squared plus t cubed. And then I like to draw a line like this and then write our value right here. So 5 up top and then our smaller value on the bottom. And what you want to do is take your value on top, plug it in, you're going to get a value, you're going to write that right here, and then you're going to subtract, then you're going to take this value, plug it in, and then put it right here. So you're going to take your upper value plugged in, and then subtract your lower value from it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I plug in 5 into this, it's going to be 7 times 35, or 7 times 5, uh, minus 5 squared, plus 5 cubed. So this is going to become 35 minus 25 and then 125 or 5 cubed is going to be 125. So 35 minus 25 is going to be 10 then we add the 20, 125. So it's going to become 135. So when we plug in 5 we're going to get 135. So now what we got to do is plug in 3 and then we're going to subtract 135 from that value. So let's plug in 3. So 7 times 3 minus 3 squared plus 3 cubed. So 7 times 3 is 21 minus 3 squared is 9 plus 3 cubed is going to be 27. So if I'm going to add these first, so 21 plus 27 is going to be 48. And then we subtract 9. So that would be 48 minus 9 is 39. So when we plug in 3, we're going to get 39. So we got both of our values, and now we just subtract. So 135 minus 39 is going to be 96. So the answer to this problem is going to be 96.